Hey guys, what's up? It's Ocean the Skater here. Today we're taking a look at multi-server economy. So what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be storing our monies on a SQL server. So anyways, if you're going to be doing this all just on your computer, then I suggest you learn how to install a MySQL database on your computer. However, if your servers are hosted by a company, chances are they provide a MySQL database for you. So if you're using Multicraft, then it's going to be something like this, similar in some sort, and it's going to have advanced and probably MySQL database. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the servers that I'm running on my computer. However, I'm going to be using my database from the Multicraft panel. So I can go ahead and hit create database and hit OK, and it's going to go ahead and boot one right up for me. So you can see all my information here, and if I delete this database and create a new one, I'm going to have a different password. So I'm fine with sharing this right now because this is just a tutorial, and I'll just delete this after. No problem. So there's going to be a plugin that we need to get, and it's called Money SQL. It supports UUIDs as well, which is amazing. That's it's really good. That's what we need right now because people can change their usernames. So if it was only associated with usernames, then you change your name, you lose your money. But since this works with your UUID, then it just you change your username, doesn't matter because it's using a UUID. So anyways, let's get right to this. We're going to go ahead and hit download. And uh, if you're on 1.8.1 or higher, then you can get, let's just go down here. Then you can get this version right here, MoneySQL version 1.4, I'm guessing, or higher version. However, I'm just using 1.8, just straight up 1.8. So I'm going to get this version. As you can see, it says 1.8 right there. So we're going to go ahead and download that one. I tried recording this video earlier and um, got the wrong version. And I was like, what the hell? Why isn't it working? And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm using the wrong one. So we've got this one. We're going to toss it in our plugin folder for both these servers. Here's my uh, hub and my factions. They're not real, really. They're just called that for simplicity instead of server one, server two. So we've got it on both of them now. So we're going to go ahead and start up the hub. Oh, before I forget, uh, you have to have Vault installed. You definitely need Vault, all right? That's a crucial. And then you need another plugin that handles economy. Um, what I would suggest is as Essentials, because you know most people are already using Essentials. If you're not, then that's kind of weird. <laughs> but you can look up other plugins that manage economy too if you don't want to use Essentials. So we're going to be using Essentials for this. So yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and run our server. And we're just going to do the hub one, because we're going to copy the um, the config from the hub to the factions one since it's going to be the exact same thing. So yeah, it's created our config file. We can open that up right here. Looks nice and pretty. We're going to go over that in a sec. And I'm going to get my MySQL database information right here. So we've got some stuff right here. We've got where we enter all the information. And down here we have some settings. So update, this is just when the, uh, the player's balance gets updated. So unplug and disable means when the server stops or when the plugin disables. And you'll notice when you stop your server, it'll say disabling this plugin, blah, blah, blah. So that's what it means. And then on events. So this event is when it, obviously when a player joins the server. And this is when a player clicks the server. And this is when the money is updated, money update event. So that would mean um, if someone pays someone or they do slash eco give or something like that. Then scheduler, this would just be scheduled to automatically update economy. So that's all. Sync, I actually am not sure what this does, but probably just leave it on true. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to put some information in now. The host is right here, host, and we're going to copy this IP address, and we're going to paste it over here. Boom. The port, we're going to leave at 3306 unless your um, panel says that it's something else, because the default port for MySQL is 3306. The database right here is going to be the same as name right here, which is USA 38 for me. So USA 38. Cool. The user is going to be USA 38, as you see right here, username. The password, we're going to just going to go ahead and copy, just paste it right in there. Boom. That's all you got to do. So we're going to go ahead and save that, close it. And I'm just going to copy this right over. I'm going to grab the money SQL. I'm going to go over here, paste it in there with my factions. Great. Now that we've saved both of those, we're going to go ahead and hit run. And let's just make sure that this starts up OK. And this back here is just my uh, bungee. All right, perfect. So as you can see, it says table money SQL doesn't exist, creating one for you. And that's just because obviously we don't have it because, well, we just added the plugin. So created successfully, connected successfully, loaded, boom, 
all good. So now let's just toss this right here and let's start up our factions server as well. And we'll run that and let's just toss that down here. We'll keep this, I'm just gonna make sure these are about the same size. All right, so now if we join, we're gonna check out my money. And my server's running kind of slow because, well, I'm running three servers on my computer, what do you expect? <laughs> All right, so let's do slash bow. I have $192, such a random number, love it. We're gonna do eco give zero CE. We'll give me $8 just to even it out. Well, I guess it's technically it's even already, but you know what I mean. So now we have 200, so if we do slash bow, we got 200. If we go over to the faction server, we're gonna have 200 hopefully. So let's go over there and see what happens. Slash bow. Oh, oh wait. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it just takes it takes just a second to update. Um, I'm guessing because I'm running three different servers, it's ta it takes a sec to actually uh, make it happen. So no big deal. Now let's do eco maybe eco take zero ce. We're gonna take uh we'll only take a hundred off. So now we have a hundred, one hundred. So let's go back to the hub and see if it updated. So let's do slash bow. Boom, hundred dollars. Perfect. All right. So that's all we really had to do. We've got our SQL server set up and all that stuff. We've got our money going across different servers. And you can set this up as on as many different servers as you want. You could have 400 servers hooked up to the same MySQL database that manages the money. So then you could have, I don't know, maybe they're all, maybe you have like a lot of mini game servers or something like that. I have no clue. But um, I mean, you could do that if you want to. So hopefully this helped. If you've had any problems with doing this or have any suggestions for videos that I should make, then leave a comment down below. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.